Peace is one of the most profoundly used words in the human language. But how much do we know about peace? Developing the Global Peace Index, creating a ranking of the nations of the world according to their peacefulness, you can now start to arrive at a lot deeper detail about the attitudes, institutions and structures which create a peaceful society. Without peace, we can't actually build the building blocks to create a modern society as we know it today. Now, they lead to peace, but these structures also lead to human potential to flourish. It's eight structures and they are strongly interrelated. It's a sound business environment, a well-functioned government and an equitable distribution of resources. Free flow of information, low levels of corruption, acceptance of the rights of others, high levels of education, good relations with neighbours. So one of the most important notions for us is that peace isn't some kind of nebulous concept. It's quantifiable, it's measurable and it's trackable. If we wanted to understand the properties of light, we'll be studying darkness. If you wanted to live a really healthy life, would you hang around people who are on their deathbed? To understand what's going to create lasting peace, we're not going to learn from trying to study conflict. The Global Peace Index is the world's leading measure of peacefulness. The index gauges the level of safety and security in society, the extent of domestic or international conflict, and the degree of militarization. The most peaceful country in the world is Iceland, followed by Denmark and New Zealand. An so peace, trend. in many ways, it's not an abstract concept. It relates directly to me and you and the quality with which we live our lives. In the past, peace may have been the domain of the altruistic, but today, it's in everyone's self-interest.